Now, Cantor found levels of infinity higher than the continuum. He did this by using the idea of the power set. Here's how it works. Take a simple set with three elements, one, two, and five. The power set is just the collection of all subsets that you can make. In this case, we can have three singleton subsets, one, two, and five, three subsets of size two, one, two, one, five, and two, five, and two more subsets, which we see for every set, the set itself and the empty set. Notice the original set had size 3, while the power set has size 8. Now Cantor showed in this famous theorem that applying the power set idea to infinite sets leads to higher sizes of infinity. So, beginning with the lowest size infinity, which we've been calling aleph naught, we can take the set of all subsets and get a new set with a higher infinite size, which we'll call aleph 1. Then we can take the power set of this set to make another set with higher infinity still, and so on. This gives us an infinity of infinities, but where does the continuum fit in here? We already know it's bigger than aleph naught. Cantor showed that the continuum is the same size as the power set of the counting numbers. If you prefer pictures, consider these two sets. On the left, we have the set of all subsets of the counting numbers, which has elements like 1, the pair 2, 6, and the set containing the counting numbers from 2 on. On the right, we have the continuum. Cantor found a mapping between these two sets that pairs them off exhaustively with nothing left over. This means that the two sets are the same size, and that C is the same as Aleph 1. To put all this in perspective, we have found a hierarchy of infinities from the counting numbers to the real numbers to sets with larger infinities still. But just because we have infinitely many infinities doesn't mean that we've found them all. Cantor looked for infinite sizes between the Alephs. His famous continuum hypothesis was the guess that there are no infinite sizes between Aleph naught and C. In other words, that there are no types of infinity between that of the counting numbers and that of the continuum. Cantor never found an answer to this question. In fact, to this day we still don't know if there are levels of infinity in between. It was eventually shown that the continuum hypothesis can be neither proven nor disproven using modern set theory. In other words, the mathematics that we have right now is not quite powerful enough to answer that particular question. Cantor certainly shed some light on infinity, but we still have more work to do. Until next time.